Hello, I'm Maeve. We're going to start with our elbows either on blocks or on the ground, like so. And you can inch your knees back and then just drop your chest through. If your shoulders are pretty mobile, you might be able to rest your forehead down. That might feel like an impossibility. And you will make it work no matter what. Front ribs are drawing gently up and the belly draws gently up so that you're not just dropping into the shoulders, you're not just pushing into this position, you are resisting back the other way so that you have a little bit of a balance here. And we'll breathe. One more round of breath. And press down, rise up. Downward facing dog. You can use the blocks if you like. Palm the ground or palm your blocks. Lift your knees, send your heels down toward the floor. Play with the position of your hands as much as you want. You can take them wider, you can turn the fingers open, you can take them narrower, turn the fingers in, the hands can be straight ahead. There are many ways to be here and I encourage you to explore what feels right and good today. Lift your heels high in hand. Just going to roll your spine forward, pass through plank, with control your hips lower down, stand the balls of the feet, pull the shoulders back, pull the biceps back, up dog on the balls of the feet, and then chin comes back to chest, reverse this back. Again, lift the heels, inhale, roll forward, exhale, inhale, pull the heart up. Exhale, chin to chest, roll back. One more time. Inhale, heels high, roll through, exhale. Inhale, up dog, chin to chest, take it back. Inhale, full exhale. Inhale. Full exhale, inhale, exhale, right knee to your chest, stay here, inhale, exhale, place your right foot forward if you need to use your hand to get your, your foot there, go for it. And then before we go anywhere, just kind of eyeball your feet. And if they feel like, or if they look like it, because you're eyeballing, but it could be a feel too. If they're too close together, you're not going to feel particularly stable here. So I like to take my right foot to the right, my left foot a little to the left. Bring your hands to your hips and then rise up. Lift the front of the hips up. You can bend the back knee to create a little more space here. And then once you've kind of created the space, you can start to re-straighten that leg any amount. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring your hands behind your head. Let your head rest back in your hands. Your elbows go wide. Shoulder blades start to draw in toward each other and lift the heart up. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down blocks or the ground. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Back heel can be lifted, back heel can be down. And you don't have to straighten the leg completely. It's the action of straightening by pressing down and lifting up with the hip. Pushing down with the foot, lifting up from the hip. Rebend your front leg. Take your left hand a little bit forward. Come onto the pinky side of your left foot. Slide your right foot back a little bit. Allow your hips to sink down. And 
and then press to rise up. Reach the arm up overhead. And the right hand comes around. Downward facing dog. Stay here, inhale. Stay here, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, left knee to your chest. Shift forward, stay here for the inhale. Exhale, left foot comes forward. Again, kind of check out your feet, widen your stance a little bit. Bring your hands to your hips and then rise up. Lift the front of the hips up, bend the back knee as much as you need to. Sweep the arms up, bring your hands behind your head, lift up, and then maybe we sink into the legs a little more, maybe that back leg strengthens. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, hands down. Front leg straightens any amount. Front leg softens, downward facing dog. Step back. Heels high, inhale. Knees bend, exhale. Look at your hands, bring your feet to your hands. Halfway up, inhale. Bow down, exhale. Again, halfway up, inhale. Bring your hands to your outer calves, your outer shins. Pull your heart forward. Try to take your hips forward a little bit. Yes, beautiful. Another inhale. Exhale and bow. Inhale, rise, reach to the sky. Lace your fingers except for your index and thumb. And side bend over to your left. Inhale, rise up. Side bend to your right. Inhale, rise up, forward fold, exhale, inhale, halfway, right foot steps back, exhale, crescent, inhale, left hand to right wrist, exhale, inhale, over to the left, exhale, hands to the ground, plank, inhale, all the way to your belly, exhale, Shalabhasana, inhale, down dog, exhale, inhale, right leg back, right foot forward, exhale, push off the back toes, warrior three. Inhale, rise to stand, place the fingers but index and thumb. Side bend right. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Inhale, rise up. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. Crescent, inhale. We're gonna side bend over to the right. Rise up, hands to the ground. Plank, inhale, to your belly, exhale. Shalabhasana, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right heel stays heavy, inhale, left leg back. Step your left foot forward. Push off the back foot, warrior three.
Rise to stand, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. Plank, exhale. Inhale, Chaturanga Dandasana or the floor. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, feet to hands. Halfway up, inhale. And bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, vinyasa, or your path to down dog. Inhale to the toes, bend your knees, look forward, feet to hands. Halfway inhale, bow deeply, exhale. Rise, inhale, hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow forward. You're gonna step your right foot back. You're going to turn onto the pinky side of your right foot and your left toes are going to turn to the left. Because I forgot this way back when and it's been bothering me ever since and we have to get it in. And then press and lift. Bring your hand around, step back, downward facing dog. I was wondering why it wasn't so slick getting back to down dog on the other side. We were going to do it a bunch more times, but heading into it, let's be even. Deep breaths here. Right leg back, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Left knee down. Reach back, maybe take this foot, maybe not. You can also bend the leg without taking the foot. You could be here and work the hamstring, which is actually really, really good for you. Depends on like the intention here. So if you're trying to get a, a stretch in the shoulder, you can use the foot as a means to kind of press away. If you're trying to get a little deeper into the front of that left leg, um, the quadriceps hip flexors on the left hip, then pulling the foot and pushing it away gets you that. If you want to work your hamstrings, actively curl in. And you'll still get a little bit of hip flexor there like that. Once you take your foot with the hand, it just changes the dynamic. Beautiful. One more inhale. Come around with your exhale. Straighten your front leg, Ardha Hanumanasana. Dig the heel down, create a little resistance. So I actually am keeping my knee a little bent here, not because I can't straighten my leg, but I'm um, really pulling back and trying to activate my hamstring a little bit more. So I'm trying to get more strength work here. Probably because I do lend to the bendy side on my hamstrings. I need more strength work. Another inhale. Bend your front leg, exhale. Take your left hand forward, turn the toes, Pivot to the pinky side of your left foot. Sink the hips down. And then lift, rise up. And then pivot your feet. Pyramid pose, so root the back heel. Right toes go forward, pull the heart forward. Bend your front knee, exhale. 
plank, inhale, chaturanga or the floor, or skip it, rise to open, down dog, exhale. Just feel all that. Inhale, left leg stretches back. Step your left foot forward. Right knee gently down. And then option to open to the left, maybe bend the leg, maybe take the foot. You can play with this however you want. I encourage you to explore this. If you're taking the foot, allow this left shoulder to open. Use your right arm or your forearm if, you're, if you want to lower down very firmly to stabilize this right shoulder. Last inhale. Come around with your exhale. Straighten the front leg. Ardha Hanumanasana. Rebound the front leg. Pull the foot back a little bit. Pivot the toes to face the left. Sink down. Rise up. Come all the way around. Square off the left toes. Root the right heel. Pyramid. Last inhale, bend your front knee. Plank inhale, chaturanga. Rise, open, use your feet. Downward facing dog, exhale. Soft, steady breath. Right leg back, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Left knee down. Maybe take that back foot, same thing. Come back around, Ardha Hanumanasana. Rebend the front leg, turn, pivot the feet, sink, rise. Come around, pyramid. Stay here or, I'm gonna take this left hand. You can put it on a block or on the floor. It can be on the inside or outside of this right foot. We're gonna our way into revolved triangle. One more inhale. Right arm comes around. Soften the front knee. Push off the back toes. Ardha Chandrasana. Chapasana if it feels nice to you. Another inhale. Malasana, exhale. Really nice, we're gonna lie down however you wanna get there. Bridge, press your feet down, rise up to your hips. Lots of ways to be here with your arms. You can hold the edges of your mat for a little leverage and strength. If you like, you can lace your fingers. If you want, draw the shoulders under your body with or without lacing the fingers. So just kind of opening up the front of the shoulders, the heart, 
and then initially we go straight up. But when we can't go straight up anymore, then the heart starts to move back toward the chin. Last inhale, release down, exhale. Right ankle to left knee, and then release it. Left ankle to right knee, and release. I'm just gonna move side to side here. You can execute this with your foot on the floor, or if you want, you can float this up. One more each way. Stretch the legs forward, rise Navasana. Cross your shins, your path to down dog. Left leg back, inhale. Left foot forward, exhale. Right knee gently down. Take the back leg if you'd like. And gently control it, release. Straighten the front leg. Rebend the front leg. Pivot your toes to the left, sink your hips down. And then press and lift. Come around, pyramid. Lengthen the spine, revolve triangle. Last inhale, exhale, release down. Push off the back foot, pull from the front foot, Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Last inhale. Come around, Malasana. Bow forward, exhale. Rise to stand, inhale. And pause here. Use your glutes, lift your heart. Send your heart up so high that maybe you start to go back because that's where you go. Contain your belly. Use your glutes. Inhale. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway up. Right foot steps back, exhale. Inhale, crescent. Stay here, bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, lift up and open. Exhale, hands to the ground. Three-legged dog, so your left leg, your right foot's where it needs to be. Your left leg is gonna sweep up and back. Open up your hips. If it feels nice, you can flip into wild thing. Come around, left knee, right elbow, fallen triangle. Inhale, three-legged dog. High into the right toes, bend the right knee. Look at your hands. You can take a few hops to get there and you can use them to go forward, but maybe you just push, lift, right foot comes forward. Left leg is gonna stay up. 
Warrior Three. Any arm variation you like. Start to bend your left heel toward your hip and then rise up with your left foot lifting toward your booty. Good. And then just stay here, working that left leg nice and strong. Chair, inhale. Press to stand. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, hands behind the head. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, hands to the ground. Your left foot's where it needs to be. Right leg sweeps up. Open the hips if it feels nice. And then maybe flip to wild thing. Come around. Right knee over to the left, fallen triangle. Three-legged dog. Really high into the left toes. Bend your left knee, look at your hands now. Swing your right leg and spring with your left leg. Left foot comes forward, warrior three. So to draw your right heel toward your right butt and then rise up. Pull, pull, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Yep. Really nice. Chair in half. Press to stand, exhale. Hands to your heart. Really nice. Little pause. Breathe. Slow down. Inhale, reach up. Bow forward, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Right foot steps back, exhale. Crescent again, inhale. Exhale behind your head with your hands. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands release to the floor. Left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Open up, consider flipping over. Come around, fall in triangle. Maybe take the foot, extend. Three-legged dog, inhale. Good, high to the right toes, bend the right knee. Swing and spring. Right foot forward, hands to heart. Now bend that left heel to your booty and come up to stand. Right arm up to the sky. Reach back with your left hand, find your foot. Lift, lift, lift. Start to push the foot back. Not a rajasana. Inhale, chair. Press to stand, exhale. Stay here for an inhale. Open up, bow forward, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale. Hands behind your head, exhale. Lift and open. Exhale, hands to the ground. Right leg sweeps back for three-legged dog. Open up your hip if it feels nice. Flip over if you want. Come around, right knee, left elbow. 
fall in triangle, or maybe take the foot, kick it overhead, three-legged dog, inhale. High into those left toes, spring and swing. Left foot to the top of the mat. Right away, bend your heel toward your butt, rise up. Reach back, find your foot, press away. Chair, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Little pause here. Just enjoy the length of your spine. Keep this length. Keep this pulling back of the shoulders, the drawing forward of the heart. Plant your hands, make your way to down dog. Right leg back, inhale. Right knee to your right elbow, stay here. Swing your right foot over toward your left arm. Push the floor away, it's your floating pigeon. And then place your right leg down. If you need an alternative, take it. Consider two blocks, elbows down. You might need to adjust them. And then maybe hands behind the head. attention to the back leg. Give it a little pressure at the top of the foot, the toenails, and spread the toes out a bit. Press to rise up. Shift off onto your right hip. Bring your left leg from the back of your mat. You can put your foot, your left foot that is, in front of your right knee or to the outside of your thigh. And then we're going to twist to the left. Allow the twist to be soft. I like to feel a lift of this left knee kind of up while I get heavy in my left hip. So getting my sitting bone to be a little bit heavier and then lifting gently upward on the outside of my thigh by my knee to get a little more hip, outer hip sensation. For me, that feels really good. back through center, pick up both of your legs so you can kind of recenter yourself. You're either holding on the back of your legs so that you have the ability to kind of lift the heart a lot here, or if it's there for you, you can take the big toes. Your legs don't have to straighten. You can have the big toes and just keep drawing the shoulders back, but if it feels good, you can straighten those legs out all the way. And then it becomes less about hip flexion strength and abdominal strength and more about this connection between the arms and the legs and the ability to balance but open up the chest pretty broad. Good, we're gonna roll down onto our backs. And bridge again, press down, rise up. Maybe wriggle the shoulders under a little bit, maybe lace the hands.
your exhale brings you out whenever that happens to be. Take your feet wide, drop your knees into each other. Pick up your legs. Rock up into Navasana. Little mister thinks that I'm on the ground for good. He doesn't know I'm not quite there yet. Cross your shins, downward facing dog. You can go through Chaturanga Vinyasa or just step back. See, and then he's out. <laughs> you don't have to run away. Left leg back. You're gonna bring your left knee to your left elbow. Your left foot's coming over toward the right arm. Stay here and breathe. Push the floor away. Place your shin, single leg pigeon. If you need an alternative, you'll take it. If you wanna use these blocks or the floor with elbows, go for it. Press into the arms to rise. I'm gonna shift off onto your left hip. Your right leg comes from the back with control. Your right foot can be in front of your left knee or your shin or to the outside of your left thigh. Adjust however you need to. You can play with this foundation. Ideally, you feel rooted, you feel stable, you feel balanced and centered and all things are pain-free. And then from there, we will twist. Last inhale. Release with your exhale. Unravel your legs. Recenter yourself. And Navasana holding or holding. our backs again and bridge or up bow inhale rise up Wide knees in. Receive that. Drop the knees to the right. And to the left. One more each way.
back to center. Okay, so we're gonna take three inversions today. <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to do any of them. You could do legs up the wall, you could just do one of these. Um, but I feel like people do a lot of these on their own. And I'm gonna take a minute, a literal minute to teach each one. Maybe a little bit more than that on a couple of them. Um, and if it doesn't work for you, you just do your own thing in that period of time. I'm gonna start with handstand, headstand, shoulder stand. I personally don't love headstand and shoulder stand on my body. I love them as poses, I just don't love them on my body, but I'm gonna do them today. So I'm gonna show you that you can do everything in some modification. I feel like handstand is the first one that you should feel confident as before you do the other ones because while shoulder stand probably feels like it's the easiest of the three because you don't have to find your balance so much, it is probably one of the trickiest inversions because there's a lot of things at play there that need to happen. So if headstand or shoulder stand don't feel good for you, or handstand for that matter, you're not going to do them. So at this point, if you're choosing another path, go there now. Otherwise, we're going to work on handstand first. And you can have yourself to a wall so you've got some stability. And I want you to know that you don't have to do the pose to practice the pose. So we'll have our hands in a nice, strong, rooted position on the floor. I'm going to be in like a short down dog here. I'm going to take one leg up, lift my other heel, bend the knee, spring and swing. And that's what we're going to practice today because we did that from down dog. So if you do it from a shorter stance, it's usually a little easier. And if you can see, I'm keeping my one leg down. If I don't take it up, I'm not going to flip over. If I take it up, who knows what's going to happen, okay? So do five on each side if you're down for it. Little pause between sides. If you, of course, are happy to handstand, just hold it. But for today, we're really working on this lift. And then we'll take a little pause here. If you're on your own path, just keep on your path. Next is headstand. And we've been doing this arm position quite a bit today. And this is what really helps with headstand. Or you could do Pinto where your head's not on the floor. So I'm gonna have my hands together and then I will end up tucking my head, the back of my head into my hands. So I'm gonna have my elbows at about shoulders distance closer than further apart because that's going to give you your foundation. Top of my head comes to the floor, back of my head tucks into my hands. Tuck your toes and then walk it. You can take one leg up just like we did in handstand and then it might just happen naturally that your other leg wants to come up, right? And you don't have to force it. And you want the arms, the shoulders to work a lot here. And then if you lifted one leg, pause. Take the other leg up. Reset, lift, leg comes up. You don't have to go anywhere but you might. Peel around the corner at you From over my shoulder I need you I need you to understand These are the earthquake drills that we ran Under the freeway overpass The tears behind your dark sunglasses The fears inside your heart's deepest gashes Child's pose. If you've been doing your own thing and you're tired of doing your own thing, we are going to move into shoulder stand now. 
but if you want to put a block under your hips and elevate your legs, and you can work the fine work of shoulder stand. I will show you that real quickly before I go into shoulder stand. You bridge, lift, block is down, hips come up, and you can start to work the sense of the shoulders becoming a platform. So really drawing them under. If you want to go into shoulder stand, here we go. So per the name, it's a shoulder stand, not a neck stand headstand no it's a shoulder stand so we're really right there is like the first challenge is actually getting the shoulders under the body so that the shoulders are supporting you so here's how I like if I'm, I'm gonna do this with no props on the assumption that you just don't have any props but if you know it with props great you know lift the legs up Take the legs overhead. You can use your arms to help out. And then I just carefully wriggle my shoulders a little closer together as if I was going to go into bridge pose. And you can lace your fingers to make that happen as well. You can stay here or bring your hands, palms, to the back, to the sides of the spine. The fingers point toward your buttocks. Yeah, I said buttocks. I said it, but I almost started laughing. And then the legs go up. Now, press the head gently back and lift the chin very, very slightly so that you have a natural curve in your cervical spine, your neck. Stay as long as you want. This is about my window where I'm comfortable. I'm going to start to bring my legs overhead. You can do this one leg at a time. It's probably the safest way. You're coming back into plow. And then releasing the arms. And then slowly rolling back up. To reverse our neck position, I really like fish pose, but you might like to do something else. You can do this with straight legs. I have the urge to do Baddha Konasana right now for this fish pose. I'm going to hold the outside back side of my thigh, so like outer thigh into my hamstring. Press down with the elbows, lift, top of the head comes down, and just reversing that neck position. Still in shoulder stand, start to make your way out. To come out of fish, you press with the elbows, lift the head, release down. And then let's just pause here, laying flat. You can do whatever you want with your legs. Notice sensation, how you feel when you come out of a foot pose, how it affects you physically, Emotionally, we can have reactions to poses like, oh, that didn't make me feel very happy. I feel a little cranky now. Or like, oh, I feel elated. Or you're just like, mm, I'm good, I'm neutral. Bring both knees over to the right. Take your left arm out to the left. Easy twist here. back to center. Knees go to the left, right arm out to the right. to your chest. Give yourself a good squeeze here. Stay here. Start to take the knees apart. The feet apart. The legs apart. 
And then if you want, kick your feet up. Happy baby. Push and pull. gently set yourself up if you want to lay down and finish in Shavasana that's wonderful if you would like to sit upright in meditation or take your legs up the wall or any other position that brings you ease and the ability to be quiet both physically and mentally that's where I want you to go Allow your eyes to soften. Notice how, like what minimal amount of energy you need to keep your body here and then see if you can do that. So if you're sitting, it requires a little bit more energy than if you're lying down. Minimal output. See if you can take the breath to a natural passive state. You don't need to control it. Just let it come in and out. And finally, just trust that whatever it is that you're doing is right and good. you'd like. If you're ready to finish, start the process of reacquainting with your body, with your breath. If you're lying down, reach the arms overhead. Bend your knees, roll to your side. From your side, rise to sitting. And once you are seated, draw your hands to your heart in prayer. Feel the effects of your practice 
honor that you showed up on your mat today and carved out this time in your day for your practice. Bow your mind to your heart. Rise, gently open your eyes.